Capricorns, what's going on with this ending? Hmm? This ending, transitioning, moving on from a situation. And with the big Dorothy vibes, some of you with a tall person. Now, you could be the tall person involved or maybe it's the individual that you're dealing with. But moving on, underneath this death card, we see Scorpio energy, the king and the ten of wands. Okay, so let's be clear that we're ending a relationship. Yeah, big chop here, King of Swords. Because something was one-sided. Mm, mm, mm. Capricorn, was it you that wasn't doing your part or somebody else? Capricorns, welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Down to Earth Tarot. Please hit the like button. Let me know where you're watching from. Subscribe and join the membership family. Shout out to everybody in Michigan, especially Lansing and Detroit. Capricorn, this ending due to somebody being the one carrying, doing all the heavy lifting here, carrying the load by themselves. Somebody, you know, not taking any action or their actions not matching their words. Mm -mm. Why do I feel like for some of you, you were feeling like something was a waste of your time or effort. Some of you taking somebody for granted or being taken for granted. Interesting. We see this King of Wands, Ten of Wands, and the Magician here. Who's this fire sign person? It could be Aries. It's a little Gemini action that was, you know, missing in action. And that's why some of you are choosing to move on or let the situation go, or some of you have moved on. What am I, what am I going to decide to clarify with today? I don't have a plan and I'm already on camera. Um, use these. Yeah. This lack of, yeah, using the gold. And we saw right here, big Virgo. And even this five of cups, giving the Bobby Bush, you know, the water boy vibes. Who's this mama's boy? Sophia here and this king of wine. Who is this mama's boy that wasn't doing their part or was overplaying their part? Some of y'all. Shout out to the Capricorn men. By getting my hands together this morning because clearly we're struggling. This lack of effort. Somebody not pulling their part. Mm, mm, mm. Gemini. We see the lovers here. A choice. But also, the, again, these are being the consequences of somebody's action or inaction. But what is this choice about? The choice speaks to, you know, two situations. We did talk about somebody who's maybe too attached to their family, their mother, possibly, whether it's male or female. But we see the lovers, Gemini, the seven of pentacles and the four of swords here. Some of you, it's somebody who didn't want to put a title on things, leaving things all up in the air with this four of swords, talking about how they're healing or need some more time. Yes, I'm rolling my eyes behind the camera for, for sure. Oh, somebody's inability to make a choice. Or really with that king of wands, that taking a stand. Oh, Lord. And interesting. Capricorn, Gemini energy with the lovers. And the devil here, Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. And these people are surely in hell. The enslaved woman and man here. Some of you, it could be somebody's addictions. Again, we see another relationship here. You know, an actual third party situation. But others of you, it very well could have been somebody's addictions. Notice we see the judgment here in the reverse. Mm -mm. Some low vibrational calling. Mm -mm. Yeah, someone's in it. So addictions, vices. Again, some of you, it could be wanting a lot of attention, having a certain level of status, being obsessed with certain things could also be very work work related and we see the page of swords here as well what is this person always looking for new things could also be that the internet is a problem page of swords king, 
King of Cups, you're liking to move around in Ace of Pentacles. Who's this person that's addicted to attention here? Being in relationships, having people fawning over them. And, it, and for some of you, this King of Wands, Ten of Wands energy is giving inconsistent in and out. This King of Cups moving, traveling, liking to be in a relationship, but maybe not necessarily giving back. Notice this posture, leaning forward, but legs crossed. It's, it's hunched over. It's, it's giving sneaky. Some of you, it's spending money. Some of you, it's these other uh, commitments. That are in the back of oh, that's it's this the way that this person is talking again. There's no words, a talk of commitment, but no follow through, and then the lies, right? Things not being clear, but also this energy with the lovers and that devil. Somebody wanting to keep their options open or liking the appearance of being single. Again, keeping the options open. Maybe they're, you know, committed when they want to be committed, but they're single when they want to be single too, you know, depending on who's around now. Now we see these aces showing up, the ace of pentacles earlier, and now the ace of swords here. Somebody likes to talk, talk to multiple people here, keeping their options open. It almost gives the lying vibes. Let me read this out. It's giving too much. It's giving, doing too much, but also doing too little. Not enough. Bare minimum. And then we see the tower moment, that ten of wands again in this ace. Of, yes. I feel like for some of you, those are those of you that are, you know, straddling the fence here, trying to make it work, looking at the bright side. <laughs> and it's not that you cannot be positive, but it's also this element of, needing to be very real about the situation, what somebody is, is clearly showing you. Mm. The magician in this Virgo energy with this nine of pentacles. Some of y'all are dealing with somebody who wants to be, I'm going to say away from you. Because for some of you, this is a relationship, romantic, physical, whatever, however you want to say that. Others of you, this, this could very well be a friendship. A co-worker situation, you know, a one-sided situation altogether. What is that nine? It's, somebody's going to be alone either way. Either way, it's looking like, I mean, with this death card here, it's transitioning to somebody's going to be alone. That nine of pentacles showing up twice. We can keep this magician here. Even with this seven of wands, three of swords, and again, the Dorothy and Sophia vibes. Who's this tall person that that's mama is all in their ear or family? Or bitter and jealous friends, heavy on the, yeah. Sophia everywhere. Some of you, it is a friend group, group of women around you, or it is indeed men, the group of women around you keeping you from being happy or around this person and this situation. It's get. Why do I feel like this person likes control, but is also easily controlled? This nine of pentacles. Wanting to free yourself from this. Some of you, with this Blanche energy, we got the golden girls out this morning. Some of you feel like you're too old for this, right? Have too, too much going on. King of swords, this nine of pentacles, right? Knight of wands at the bottom, right? Some of you feel like you're too old for these games, the inconsistency, and are looking to quit... Excuse me, Knight of Wands, looking to quickly change directions. I mean, a, a change overnight. The moon, Cancer, Pisces, and the Ace of Pentacles. The tower again. Heavy on the Aries and Gemini energy. The magician here and the tower. Scorpio double and not as well. An ending, some things being revealed. What's this Knight of Pentacles? Consistent in the readings for Capricorn for, again, at least a month. And I'm uploading almost three times a day. This nine of pentacles in this situation. I feel like wanting to be free, but also somebody wanting, again, wanting to be free. 
Some of you all have been ignoring the red flags in this situation or somebody has. Just period. This ten of swords in front of somebody's face. It would be different if this was in the back as typical. This is all in somebody's face. Being taken for granted, underappreciated, and needing to sever ties due to a lack of a lack of trust. And we see two tens at ten of wands. Now this ten of swords. The two, yes. A lot of you, the two of cups here, given the romance vibes. It is a romantic relationship that is coming to a close. You know, because some of you, again, recognizing the red flags, notice, knowing that you guys are, you know, not connected in the way maybe that you wanted to, maybe even that the way that they wanted to. But we see this disconnection here, misalignment. Aquarius cuspers. We see the star in reverse. Yeah, needing to leave, reverse out of that driveway and never come back. And even with this star card here, this person looking tall, but we see these pictures pouring into two different places that lovers, devil energy, Capricorn, the, the two, this somebody being, I feel like somebody was unwilling to make a choice. I feel like somebody was unwilling to make a choice. And it may have been a situation where somebody didn't even need to make a choice, but maybe needed to separate themselves from a situation, a person. That nine of pentacles, what do we got here on the floor? Temperance in the reverse and the seven of wands that we've seen twice now. Sophia and the golden girls and now here in this temperance. Who's the Sagittarius? Sagittarius cuspers, the December babies. Tap on in. But we get the vibes of somebody coming in. I, I feel like coming in to do a little damage. Knowing that they were leading you on or Capricorn, even you knowing that you were leading somebody on here. And somebody being, you know, unwilling to face the consequences. Let me keep this seven of wands. Oops, and this temperance here as well. Little side note, yeah. And for some of you using the physical relationship, but also with this Capricorn energy, the devil, the time that you've invested. See, that you've invested to keep you in a situation. Some of y'all know it's time for you to get out. This king, yeah, this king of swords is like throwing things all on the floor. And then we have the wheel of fortune in the upright. Transitioning all up out of there. New beginnings, things taking a turn. And and let's be clear with this knight of wands and this um. Wheel of Fortune here. Taking a turn in a more positive direction. Taking a turn in your favor. I feel like with you making this decision to tap out or somebody making the decision to tap out. I, I guess I'm not sure what you're waiting for. Again, some of you waiting for the, the closure conversations, which nobody can really give to you. Yeah, some of y'all are waiting for that conversation. Knight of Swords here. And I feel like some of you waiting on a face-to-face. -face. The way that Dorothy's looking here, right at you, with the skull in the hand, but also the way that this person's rushing in, leaning forward, sword out. This is somebody wanting a face-to-face -face conversation. You know, Knight of Cups here in the reverse in the full. Others of you know that it's just best for you to move on without the conversation. I don't see you getting an apology. You know, this Knight of Cups in the reverse. Um, I almost get somebody acting oblivious to the problem or as if they don't know what the deal is because maybe you weren't in a relationship for some of you this four of wands or just because they've moved on. I don't want to say it's given that I don't even know you guys, but it is kind of given that almost as if somebody doesn't see why it was that serious. This four of wands speaking to something being new, light.
And again, this mm -hmm, interesting, the magician and the emperor. I think those of you that are waiting for this conversation, I think you're going to be surprised and maybe not necessarily the best of ways if you sit around and wait for somebody to have the type of conversation that you want them to have with you. It's part of that controlling vibes. I feel like some of you, when you started to feel this person pulling away or even this vice versa, somebody started when they felt someone pulling away, started doing more, becoming obsessed with the situation, wanting to win, wanting an explanation here, wanting somebody to do the right thing by them. And for some of you, again, that two of swords, it gives the vibes of somebody feeling like they weren't that committed. Like they were just kind of, I don't know, playing around here, messing around, seeing how we could go here with this magician, testing it out. Somebody in this situation over-invested. We see this king of wands here, the seven of pentacles, and this, excuse me, the seven of swords and this page of pentacles overly invested overly played their part and is definitely feeling a certain type of way that ten of swords but also exhausted and worn out and definitely the sense of betrayal here with the seven of swords you know that somebody was untruthful or, or wasn't necessarily as upfront and honest as they should have been Two of swords, isn't that interesting? Somebody's very shocked by the way that somebody has moved or the stance that they've taken with this situation with giving to two, that six of pentacles, now we got the Libra vibes, right? This trying to give, to, again, the giving to two, working it out. And we get the vibes that, you know, there's some very attractive people involved. We see the king and the queen of wands here in our hand. The queen of cups here. And this page of swords. Somebody just likes to play the field, period, point blank. And that is, I feel like that is their stance. But maybe the way that they came in, that king of wands in the reverse, as we started, they may not have said that. They may not have presented or represented themselves in that way, but that, that is what definitely what it is looking like. That those of you that are asking somebody to make a choice or are being asked to make a choice are not. So somebody's needing to somebody's needing to move on. Make the decision for themselves. Again, it's giving overnight, taking a turn in a different direction and moving on. But this asking somebody to make a decision or asking them why, it gives the it gives the vibes almost as if somebody was like, I showed you through my actions. Whether I said it or not, their actions showed that they were. Giving to two, not go, not going to commit to a certain situation, half in and half out, and that and that's their lane. Some of y'all were dealing with somebody who wasn't going to commit, or again, it, it just gives selfish. Because some of you, this is a friend. This is somebody who's going to do what is in their best interest. The five of pentacles, the feeling betrayed here, abandoned, left out, left behind, thrown under the bus. We see the emperor again, the chariot. There's a major need to just move on, to forgive, to forgive and really forget about this person and or the situation. Again, that transitioning, moving on, moving out past this commitment, whatever it was, because it's giving one sided. And we see this cancer energy here, giving them the vibes of somebody moving around, doing a lot of traveling, but also this energy of needing to emotionally move on. Again, letting it go with the hair font, praying on it, letting it go, 
and heavy on the letting it go. Do not let it drive you crazy. What you going to do about somebody else being a liar? What you going to do about somebody saying that they're busy and really they're just doing things behind your back? Nothing. Nothing. What do you want to do with that? If somebody doesn't value your time, if friendship or romantic wise, especially, what are you going to do? Chase them down? Right. Obsess over this day and night about why this inconsistent person, this Knight of Wands again, wasn't coming home, isn't calling, isn't doing you right, is lying to you, all these swords down, playing you right in front of your face for some of you not all right. It's not about a healing. They're not on a break. They're not, don't know where things are going. Because they're healing. This is playing games. They're out here talking to other people. Notice that those three swords being up in this four kind of sideways. You might just be the only one blocked or not hearing from them. Two of Pentacles. Yeah. Somebody's moved on. The sun, new beginnings, this eight of cups, walking away. Two, they've moved on. Page of wands. So, this is somebody who's not going to invest in this situation, period. was not invested seven of pentacles mm, that three of swords again you're just seeing what this person knew from the beginning now that you you know you separated yourself or they've separated themselves from you yeah now you get to see them how they move around at a distance this person was never committed to being your friend they were never trying to take this to the next level but they but they knew that you would be waiting there holding on some of you even waiting there for an explanation again the reason for not giving any closure right the five of the confusion five of wands here and the, yeah they they were really hoping that you would be sitting there waiting holding on to again the time that you put in the effort that you put in right I feel like the tower moment is seeing this person for, for what it really is. That magician being very crafty, manipulative. We see the king of swords here, right? Very good with their words. But uh, we see shady pines, shady freaking boots here. Again, liking to be doing their own thing, needing a lot of attention. But it, it's, it's not giving loyal vibes. They go where it feels good, where, where things are fun. And that's why some of you are needing to, again, needing to cut ties with this person that is immature. Immature, period, point blank, page of wands, um, Capricorns. Let me know what resonated. Hit the like button, subscribe, join the membership family. Let me know where you're watching from. Let me know what resonated for you and drop this person's sign as well. Um, I'll be tapping in with you very soon. Keep it real.